so I'm going to open software Kyle so this is my text editor in your first uh, hands-on training I will uh, teach you how to install Kyle step by step it will open the last saved work so this is our last saved work you can zoom if you if it is not visible you can zoom the sections where I'm taking my mouse uh, this section this section is a uh, viewer section means how your document will look like and will appear over here uh, so there are two uh, three sections one two three so this uh, in this area uh, it will appear how your document will look like this one and in this this area uh, you will write your uh, text document and you will learn uh, you will uh, run this document by clicking over here so PDF text so it will convert uh, your text to PDF there are different um, output files format also you can choose but uh, for time being uh, we are just creating our document into PDF so that is the output method so this is a uh, uh, first article we are going to teach now to how to create input files how to prepare input files so I will I will destroy this one and let's start with the new file you can choose any uh, you can see uh, you can choose latex document or biptex or Kyle script there are different class also uh, like latex uh, uh, biptex is also similar similar to latex some people use uh, biptex so we choose latex here uh, empty document empty document uh, there will be nothing come over here I will choose uh, article so it will ask uh, where you want to save the document so you know you have to create folder it is most important thing that uh, whenever you are opening new file it has to be saved in folder because uh, after running that file it creates uh, residues files so you have to uh, save your file in particular folder so I made this latex certificate course folder and this is a test folder test one so, uh, I will remove this actually okay so uh, see uh, I have created this uh, L1 file now I will create this uh, uh, test test 2 file dot text so second second thing first you have to create folder second thing uh, you have to give extension to your file that is dot text if you are not uh, giving uh, dot text extension it will not run so if you want to run your document uh, it has to be given name as whatever name you want to give dot text is the extension you have to write there so I'm I'm saving this dot text and you can see that there is no uh, t2 file in this folder so all other files are there but t2 file is not there and uh, uh, like like this PDF uh, t2 files residues will come over here okay I saved this uh, this is uh, A4 paper size and uh, 10 points if I remove this even I if I remove square bracket and if I run I'm running now okay so nothing change it is as it is the font size not change so because uh, as I told you uh, the 10 point is the default si font size so this square bracket was for uh, font size followed by user package uh, input uh, in inputs. so you can even remove this so instead of removing I can just comment it uh, with the percentage sign so if I put percentage sign this will not come into the picture it will not come into our picture so if I run this okay 
nothing is changed zero error you can see here uh, logs and messages here zero error zero warning zero bad box matlab uh, any uh, means your document is ready no problem uh, you can ignore warnings and bad box but if there is error you can't see the pdf file okay now i will i will uncomment this hmm i will put title so lecture 1 so i give lecture one to title r s i put author then i will run this okay so there is error so as there is error you cannot run this uh, you cannot see this changes over here you cannot see the changes uh, on this side because uh, there is a error so view if you click on view pdf nothing will nothing will give so pdf latex will convert your text file to pdf and to view this you have to click over here okay so i will remove this opening okay so things uh, work out here now see lecture 1 rs manohar so this is lecture 1 rs manohar uh february 2 2022 so this comes automatically and uh, this aftrax is coming by default because uh, we choose it as an article begin document make title introduction to latex let's see what will happen so it comes over here introduction to latex so if i put backslash to latex see what will happen uh, it will give error i guess yeah so there is a error i want to show you how it uh, how the error comes this is a error why because uh, it do not understand what is written over here uh, backslash uh, backslash latex so if i put this l capital maybe uh, even though it will not run okay so error is uh, as it is because it, it do not know what is this uh, written if i put slash alpha now alpha uh, this software know what is slash alpha so it will uh, run but will give some error again so consequently we got many errors because uh, this is written in uh, uh, text alpha symbol so any symbol you are writing in between text uh, it has to be Uh, return in between dollars so i put dollar uh, after that so there will be no error now i guess yeah here we go so zero error zero zero warning zero bad box so warning and uh, zero, uh, bad box you can you can neglect but if there is error uh, it will not run your document will not run you can't view your document if you are writing uh if there is error so section so if section is there if i write section section um, so num you don't have to give number to the section 
hmm? because you know, one is uh, already there so introduction to latex or false document I'm running this or false document if you want to make another section more sections So it will appear as section 2. Okay, so I have not given number to the section, it automatically comes uh, after that. Our uh, first document, our second document. See, I am giving too much space in between that. So let's see what it will do. Oh. So I have given too much space, but uh, here is no space. So this is the magic of Latex. So if you do mistake, it, he will not do a mistake. Okay, if you want to uh, uh, change a line, so like uh, here I will write something. and uh, to break the line i will put uh, double slash double black slash and i'm continuing line backslash and now i want to put uh, some uh, symbol so i will put uh, dollar dollar so dollar must be start and end at the end hmm, of the command so like um, b e t a I wrote uh, beta over here and uh, if you want another slash gamma so if I uh, write if I misplace um, uh, do mistake in spelling like uh, uh, I'm writing slash G A M M so let's see what it will do it will it will show you error because uh, it do not know what is slash G A M M so it gives one error one error but uh, and it is not nothing is appear here because it is not run if there is an error uh, you cannot uh, see uh, your file see I'm clicking over here view the files but not coming so I will remove that error so instead of that first I will click here so it is run and one error so where is that error you can find over here so I correct the spelling now we know the spelling so you can see the line break you can see alpha and gamma over here okay so this is our first document I and uh, you don't have to save it it will save automatically uh, in your folder respective folder so where is that folder document I made this uh, okay so this was L1 and see T2 we made a T2 file and here T2 T2 uh, all residues files are uh, created over here so this dot AUX is the uh, output to residues file and this T2 is the uh, PDF file we have uh, created in our first first document okay here yeah, I'm missing so I will come again yeah so this is our first lecture I will stop here thank you